Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with the mini chicken pot pie recipe that I showed you in my dinners from last week and I told you I would come back and share this recipe with you. So I wanna jump right in and share this recipe and we're gonna start with what ingredients that I use for it. you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to take the frozen vegetables and make sure that they're thawed out if they're not thawed um, from sitting out then you want to put them in the microwave and thaw them out you want to then add your chunks of your chicken into the vegetables and then from that point you want to then add your your can of cream of soup and then from that point what you can do is put a little bit of salt and then add a little bit of pepper and then you're just going to mix this all up see how simple this is this is a great recipe for those nights you're just trying to get the meal out on the table now you can use fresh chicken and, and fresh veggies and all of that but this is just the fast alternative you then want to grease your muffin pan and then you want to take your uh, biscuits and you want to put them on a floured surface and kind of um, you know pan spread them out a little bit and flatten them out a little bit so that they'll kind of cover the sides and bottoms of your pan and I use my fork just to kind of put the edges around they're not beautiful right now but once they bake up they're cute enough and you know they're not the prettiest but they're cute enough you then want to take your mixture and you want to fill it about one third maybe I always put a little more than one third in there and you know fill it up and this is a Campbell's this is actually a Campbell's recipe so that's why I just love this I love all Campbell's stuff and then you're going to top it off with the cheddar cheese and from that point, you're just going to put it in your oven. You're going to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes, and you're done. How simple is that? This is such a fast and easy recipe. You know, put some uh, veggies and, and fruit on the side, and you have dinner served in no time. This is great if you have a lot of kids over for a day for some reason. You can make a whole pan full and take care of them on all in one short period of time. So this is a very family-friendly recipe, a very quick recipe. Again, you can use more... Um, you know homemade items like make your dough and things like that but this is just a quick version for you you definitely can go to my website at homewithnikki.com and print out your recipe card for this actual recipe i hope that you all have enjoyed this and i hope that you're doing great and this is nikki saying goodbye